When you mirror people, you focus intense attention on them. They will sense the effort you are making. They will find it flattering. Obviously, you have chosen them. Separating them out from the rest, there seems to be nothing else in your in your life but them. Their moods, their taste, their spirit. The more you focus on them, the deeper the spell you produce. Uh, and the intoxicating effect you have on their vanity. Many of us difficult Difficulty. Many of us have difficulty reconciling the person we are right now with the person we want to be. We are disappointed that we have compromised our youthful ideas and we still imagine ourselves, ourselves as that person who had so much promise, but whom circumstances prevented from realizing it. When you are mirroring someone, do not stop at the person they have become. Enter their spirit at, of that ideal person they wanted to be. This is how the French writer Chateaubriand managed to become a great seduc seducer despite his physical ugliness. When he was growing up in the later 18th century, romantisme was coming into fashion and many young women felt deeply oppressed by the lack of romance in their lives. Chateau Briot would reawaken the fantasy they had had as young girls of being swept off their feet of fulfilling romantic ideals. This form of it entering another spirit is perhaps the most effective kind. Symbol The Hunter's Mirror In the field, the hunter's place places a mirror on the stand, though like a lens in front of the glass steps back and forth and trans by its own moving image and by the imitative mating dance it sees performed before his eyes hypnotized the bird loses all the senses of its surrounding until the hunter's net traps it against the mirror In 1897, <coughs> at Berlin, the poet René Maria, whose reputation would later cir circle, met Lou Andrea Salome, the Russian-born writer and beauty, who was notorious for n having broken Nietzsche's heart. She was the darling of Berlin intellectuals, and although Rilke was 22, and she was 36, he fell ahead over heels in love with her. He fluted her with love letters, which showed that he had read all her books and knew her taste intimately. The two became friends since she was learning his poetry, and he hung on her every word. Salome was flattered and Rick's mirroring of her spirit. Enchanted by the intense attention he paid her, the spiritual communion they began to develop she became his lover but she was worried about his future it was difficult to make a living as a poet and she encouraged him to learn her native language russian becoming a translator he followed her advice so avidly that within months he could speak russian they visited russia together and rock was overwhelmed by the by what he saw the peasants the folk custom, the art, the architecture. Back uh, de retour à Berlin, he returned. He returned his room into a kind of shrine to Russia and started wearing Russian peasant blouse and peppering his conversation with Russian phrase. Now the charm of his mirroring soon wore off. At first, Salome had been flattered that he shared her interests so intensely, but now she saw this as a something else. He seemed to have no real identity. He was copying, like, he, like who are you? Why do you need to be mm, 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 to impress me? Mm, mm, mm. He had become a dep dependent on her for his own self-esteem. It was all so slavish. In 1899, much to his horror, she broke off the relationship. The lesson is simple. You entry into the person's spirit. 
must be a tactic, a way to bring him or her under your spell. You cannot be simply a sponge, soaking up the other's person's mood may hurt them for too long and they will see through you. Going to bed. Thank you all for listening for, for so long. I really cut this short because I'm going to bed and I'm so Oh my god, I stayed th I stayed over 30 minutes past my bedtime, so good night. And this was The Art of Seduction by Robert Green. No problem. À la prochaine, tout le monde. Uh, see you guys in the morning.